This is what it sounds like. It's loud. And it's loud. The more does you have? You have six cuts. Here's your first. And so you would plunge down. Come back up. Go for your second. Plunge. And pop the head again. That's your third cut. Go down. And then I'm going to shift this back. Slide this whole carriage back. And then do one. It. This will show that it <laughs> runs all the way back. All right. Or take it off or whatever. This bolt here takes a 17 millimeter. that some loose. This up here is a tightening screw and you don't want it tight tight. You want to have some play in it. So that's a little too much. Probably about there. And then we'll tighten it up and see what it looks like after it's tight. Up and keep the gunk from getting in the um, in the threads. Move the back piece up tight, and here's your clamp down. It's pretty good go. I'm gonna make these a little shallower. So I'm not kicking shit all over the camera. So that was the first cut, cock the head over, this is going to be your second cut, and you can change that with this set screw right here. And then pop the head over even farther for the hood. I bring it back to vertical and I move this lever and so I've shifted the whole cutter head back. And then the whole thing up. This piece here locks it up. And you can see down in the mortise. What it looks like. So, of course, when you know when you shift it over, then these get less deep. So, but you can see the vertical, nice and clean and tight. There's the mortise. Now, something I forgot to point out, which I'm sure everybody already knows, is you always drill your holes first. So you lay out and drill your peg holes first. Otherwise, you'll go through this um, part of the timber, and then it'll be it'll be confused when it get your drill bit will be confused as it goes around to the other side.